Baton Rouge police say they've made three arrests from yesterday's shooting that left a woman and her unborn baby dead. All three are facing serious charges. NBC Local 33's Ariel Salk is live outside the Baton Rouge Police Department. Ariel, one suspect even worked in law enforcement himself. That's correct. One of the alleged shooters, 19 year old Marquise Porch, did work for the West Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office. He has been fired since his arrest. Police are also telling us that Porch was shot during the attack and was sent to the hospital with non life threatening injuries and has been released and put behind bars. It's just a sad situation that somebody lost their life for nothing. Two heart balloons stand as a memorial for a pregnant woman and her unborn baby, both shot and killed Sunday. Rico Lebrod owns a shop near where the violent attack took place. I was hurt. I got three daughters myself and a wife. I went out and bought a teddy bear and the balloons. After dropping people off at a party at North Carrollton Avenue, 36 year old Carisha Johnson, her gunshots. That's when she turned around to bring the party goers home and away from danger. That's when the individual shot at her car. So through the course of investigation, we believe that the person that was shooting at her thought that she was the person who had just fired the multiple shots. 19 year olds Marcus Porch, Gregory Parker and Derek Curry are charged with second degree murder and first degree feticide. She's nine months pregnant and due. Uh, she was due in two, three weeks. According to the West Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office, one suspect, Marcus Porch, was a part-time employee. Porch was immediately fired after his arrest. You gotta get control of yourself. Like, something gotta be done. You know, like, people losing their life. LeBron says his shop has been on this block for two years and doesn't feel safe. I don't come out as much. Once I go in my shop, I lock in. So, what goes on at night, I have no clue. I just I just kind of stay to myself. But despite the neighborhood violence, he still wants to support the community. To the family, my prayers go out to you. And I just wanted to start like a little. I mean, I'm, I was hurt. So, I mean, I, I did it out my heart. Now, police are still searching for the person or people who fired that initial shot that triggered this entire violent attack. If you have any information, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 225-344-7867. Reporting live outside of the BRPD headquarters, Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News. All right, thank you, Ariel, for that report.